Are you having a lot of fun? These guards just want want you to dump. Yeah, it's fun. Um, you know, you got to do other things too, but uh, it gets gets people excited, I guess. So get a couple alley oops, a couple dunks. It's always good. You know, watching you in the low post, I mean, there's just so many tools. You know, do you feel like you're maybe one of the underrated guys in how skilled you are? I mean, you yeah. hear about young kids like Nerlens Noel, but, I mean, you look oh. at you working in the post, it seems like you have every tool that you can have. Yeah, um, I'm very comfortable down there. I think it'll be different um, at the next level. Uh, you can't really pack in the paint as easily. You know, in college you always have a guy just sitting in the middle of the lane um, kind of packing it in. So it'll be interesting to see how, how my game translates, but I I'm very confident. Uh, and what I can do on the block. For you, obviously, I think we know your body of work, and sometimes they say, you know, that can be a detriment because then all of a sudden the potential word goes away. Right, right. But do you feel like there's more to your game than we've even seen so far yeah. in four years in college? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm as high on myself as anybody, so <laughs> uh, I feel there's still uh, room to grow. I don't think I've reached my ceiling, and, um, you know, I, I'm just excited to show what I can in workouts, and then uh, people – I let people see me in a in a different kind of game. You know, obviously your brother had some success last year or this year with Indiana. Yeah. Uh, is the bar higher now? You know, obviously we've had <laughs> yeah. one Plumley come in and go in the first round. Now you've got to be a lottery pick, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know if I can jump as high. I think he went from into the second to the, what was he, 26 or whatever he was. He jumped the whole round. So, um, you know, that was a, a heck of a job. He did. I mean, another testament to Josh and what he does. But. Um, he had a great pre-draft and um, really handled the workouts well, and I'm looking to do the same. What do you feel like you're going to bring to an NBA team? I mean, I think we can kind of see it, but as you sit down and talk to NBA teams, why you? what do you bring to an NBA team? Well, th the first thing I would just say I'm ready to play right away. Um, I'm not a guy that you're going to have to send back and forth and question um, some of the, the foundational, is he going to run, is he going to rebound, is he going to defend? I think those are, you know, I've done those for four years now. And, um, and then aside from that, I'm very skilled. I can play with other good players, and I'm very comfortable with my back to the basket. So, um, you know, I would just say a guy that's ready to come in and help win right now. You know, watching you play with some of the guards that are out here, you start to wonder what is Mason going to look like playing with NBA caliber guards, yeah. some of the best in the world. Do you feel like playing with an elite level point guard is really going to blossom your game? Yeah, I mean, I can just say from uh, from pickup at Duke when Kyrie comes back, he's to me uh, there are a lot of great point guards in the league. He's right up there with any of them. But um, it is you get a couple baskets that that are just so easy playing with a great point guard, and it can it can get you going. So um, you know, I would love to play with a um, a great point guard, and you know, I'm I'm looking for a situation like that in the league. <laughs> What do you feel like is maybe an underrated part of your game? You know, something maybe we don't get to see you do nearly maybe um, as much as you'd like to. I would say my passing. I think I only average about two assists a game, but um, I think uh, I have a good. I do a good job of finding the open person, especially uh, shooters spotting up and things like that.